I wanted to say a hey, big hey to you all because this is a new channel. Again, I'm gonna stop getting passwords. Yeah, so this is gonna be a mental health channel where I talk about mental health conditions and other issues that people face on a day to day basis. I didn't answer the one fucking phone call because I didn't, because I wanted to fucking sleep. I don't ever speak for her again. I can never see her again. It's a horrible feeling. This video is not educational, I'm so surprised. I never in a million years imagine my life would turn out the way it has. When I was 10 years old, I never thought by the time I was 21 I'd have been through drug addiction, hospitalised in my mental health, beaten by police, moving to a flat with some new storm items to try to get me to deal drugs. Yeah, <laughs> I was 19 the first time I tried cocaine and I instantly got out of control. I never craved it because I always had it. By the time I was turning 20, I'd almost kill myself through alcohol and drug use. At the point of being death's door, I decided I wanted to live and I began surviving. It hasn't been an easy journey and I can't pretend it's been perfect. I'm human and I can not stop it. Today I'm going to the cafe walk. I just got the ward. Finally, it's completely as full as it can be. I don't know how I'm going to do. I thought I'd, that'd be the feature of this video. Me. I'm in a really weird mood today. So I'm bored at the moment. I feel so much. Let's go into the bathroom and get it. Because I'm out of the start. And I'm so it's not good. I'm trying to sit down for this so you can't hear me. So, going out into the community thing, it can go great. For some reason, people really want to know what it's like to be in this like ward room. I don't really know why, but I decided to film a room tour. Now, I have decorated this room to make it look more homely because I've been here for a while. Yeah, it's not that exciting. But people want to see it, so I'm doing I'm 21 now, and I'm still battling for my sobriety. I've been clean of drugs for almost three months at the time of this recording. I've been clean of alcohol for five months. To some people that might not seem like much, but it means everything to me. For most of the year of 2019, especially so far, I've been impatient for my mental health and it's been really hard. I lost a friend to suicide here who was doing it and in turn I tried to kill myself. I documented absolutely everything about my recovery and posted it to YouTube because I knew that I wasn't the only person who was going through this. I posted the good, the bad, the ugly. Hi, I'm Adina, I'm 21, I'm a recovering addict, I have borderline personality disorder, post-traumatic stress disorder, general and social anxiety, depression, and EDNOS, which is eating disorder, not otherwise specified. Mental illness is horrible and hard, and I'm the first person to hold my hands up and say, I'm not a model patient. I stopped taking medication. I've tried to walk out of hospitals. I've climbed through a window to get out of hospital. I've done all sorts of things you wouldn't believe. I struggle with mental health and I'm not afraid to say that. I have dedicated my online presence, like all my social media accounts, to raising awareness of mental health. And while I'm still struggling, I also have people messaging me saying how I've helped them and it's amazing, it's liberating and I wouldn't trade it for anything. Hi, I'm Lydia and my story is just beginning.